you know, I was super into games, and it, like, unless I already knew the game, and, um, he was like, oh, this is called Toho Project, you want to try? I was like, Toho Project? Huh. Uh, I'll give it a shot, even though I th thought it looked, like, super freaking hard, and, um, that's what she said, too. And I tried it, and three minutes later, I stand up, and I'm like, what the hell just happened? Like, a hail of bullets just flooded the screen, and suddenly I'm dead. Like, okay. But I try a couple more times, and eventually, I start paying attention to the music. And then a few minutes, like, like as, as I'm constantly, as I'm um, playing, playing on and on, I realize that some of the melodies, the melodies I'm hearing are actually the same melodies that I, I'm hearing in, in the songs that I have on my iPod. Like the songs that I, that I you know, have on my iPod I saw I got from YouTube and through buying albums and such um, over online. And don't ask me how, but I was able to. And um, I didn't listen to him. I'm like, yeah, th these melodies are actually matching, you know? They're actually matching. I don't know how, but they really sound really same. In fact, some of them sound the exact same. Like it's uncanny. So after we're after I'm done playing, uh, we go head off to the actual tournament. To I think it was like during nighttime and stuff like that. So we actually go off to the tournament itself and um, watch the people play. And uh, we finally we uh, our entire team goes over to the grand stage or the grand arena to watch the women's final or something like that, where we saw Djokovic and um, my friend and that particular senior friend of mine were sitting together. And he was like, uh, he was like, hey, let me see your iPod. I want to see what kind of music there's. Uh, it's on it because uh, we were waiting during like. A, like an intermission or something like that. So I'm like, hey, sure. So I give him my iPod, and he scrolls through it, and he notices that, hey, you got you got a lot of Toho songs on here. I was like, what? What Toho songs? And he's like, no, no, no. This is this is all Toho songs right here. And I was like, oh, really? Huh. So then that the, well, that was the time when I discovered what Toho was. That was when I discovered like what the uh, what where the origins of that particular song came from. So. I was like, hey, <laughs> yeah, that's funny, because uh, I had no idea what Toho was, but now I do, you know? I actually stumbled upon what Toho was through music, strangely enough, so. And, um, and I was like, I've been going all this all this time without knowing what the hell Toho was, and now I know. So, that was when I really started getting into Toho, and um, that particular friend shared with me his own Toho library, and that was when it really took off. Um, from then on, I searched up, I just basically swept to YouTube, um, basically in and out looking for uh, Toho songs. Um, the two main genres I'm really interested in are... Um, Kind of like the Japanese dub toe dubstep almost, but it's not really dubstep. It's its own kind of thing, and um, like I shouldn't say synth, but um, in any case, hopefully you guys know what I mean. And um, I also got into the um, what is it called? The all the actual rock scene of Toa as well, and. When I found the rock scene, like the rock stage of uh, of Toho remixes, I was like, "Why didn't I find this before? Like, why are there so many goddamn songs that I love listening to? Why can't I have them all? God damn it!" So, I really do love those songs, and um, you may have seen, you may me may have a. Uh, basically heard some of those songs from previous videos that I've uploaded, but most of you may have not. So, um, yeah, the. Uh, Basically, I just I was like I just delve and del I just dove into the the ocean of Toho songs on YouTube, and I've never gotten out since. And to this day, Toho uh, Toho is Toho music is what I'm r super interested in, and um, that's probably what I'm gonna stick with for the rest of uh, basically the rest of my life. Cause it's it's <laughs> I tried distancing myself away from it. It was futile. Resistance was futile. There's no way I'm gonna force myself to not listen to. Um, Toho music, so um, that is much how much I love Toho music, and um, yeah, ever since then, it's stuck with me ever since, and my library, my iTunes library, is just chock full of them now, and um, yeah, that's basically how my how my history with music has turned out. So I've, now that I've talked about like what my history was about mu or with in relation to music, I want to talk a little bit, discuss with you guys a little bit of how how my mind really thinks of music and that what I th think of music. Honestly, I have no idea where to start, so 
Um, let's say, like, music... Music, like, where should I even start with this? Huh, interesting. Because there's just so much I want to talk about that it's hard to begin on one topic and try to weave through all the topics, you know, if you guys know what I'm saying, you know what I'm getting at here. But, um, I think this is where I'm going to start. So, music. Why I depend on it so much. Before, earlier in this commentary, you guys have probably, you guys will probably remember me mentioning that the, uh, m that music is almost like a drug to me. It's almost, it's come to the point where it's like I almost, you know, depend on it for my survival and the reason for that is that one um it kind of ties on my personality as well i'm the uh, if you guys don't know already i'm the introverted kind of guy you know kind of keeps to myself not really talks likes to talk to other people music is like that friend of yours that is always there and will never complain will never bitch will never say anything against you and is always there for you i guess that's how the best way i can put it like it's kind of like like an ideal friend of sorts i don't know but uh, it's i don't want to call it a girlfriend or be like a boyfriend because it, it sounds weird calling your like your music your girlfriend or boyfriend it's like what but um anyways it, but it's kind of like that hopefully you guys are will understand what i'm trying to get at here but it's it's like kind of like that kind of situation with me and my relationship with music or what i what my mind um you know thinks of music it's coming to the point where if if I don't have my music, it's kind of hard for me to get through the day. There is there is not one day that I go through without uh, listening to at least like a batch of songs that I you know I want to listen to uh, for a particular day if I'm feeling the mood. So yeah, the uh, the music has it's almost like a I've already mentioned it before I know, but it's almost like as if I depend on it as if if I if I quit. If I quit, if I quit music, it's like I'm gonna have a relapse. Like, uh, it's like I'm so desperate for this music that I want, I I will never bear to depart from it. If you guys don't understand what I mean, that's how much my main, my mind depends on music. Not only just for emotional, you know, Boeing and Boeing, and um, you know, emotional stability, but also just just overall. I just want it, and um, I just want to listen to it, and I. Because I just enjoy it so goddamn much that it's come to that point. It might be a little bit dangerous, I know, but um, I'm sure I'm sure some I'm, I'm I'll, I'll be able to uh, learn how to cope with the lack of music. But um, in any case, that's my relationship with with music and stuff. So that being said, um, music. I wanted I feel, I wanted to talk like kind of take that into another like another topic of mine but I suddenly forgot it but in any case um music I just really really do enjoy it I just really love listening to it it's, it's one of the few things that it's one of my hobbies where you can I mean I don't have a lot of hobbies to begin with but it's definitely a hobby that I can spend hours on you know just just sit back in my in my reclining chair with my laptop and my iPod and uh, headphones on my Bose headphones and uh, just 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 snap them on and uh, turn on my iPods um, hit up a what is it hit up a crow's claws uh, mountain of faith and um, just let it play and basically have my iPod just go through my entire library of music that's that's how much I really do enjoy listening to music and um, I know that not many people are, can, you know, do the same thing as I can. It's like they don't really enjoy music to such, like, such a great extent that I do. But I mean, to me, like, here's what I think of music. Music is like one of those things where, you know, it's it's tied in with human. Uh, I don't know. I want. I don't know. I don't know if this is the uh, right term to describe this, but. Music is kind of like one of those things that ties in with human psychology. It's 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 innate. Like we humans, um, really are very compatible with music. And um, I don't know if that was the right term or like the right phrase to use, but anyway. But like we just like music in general, and our minds do like you know listening to patterns, listening to musical melodies, and other the, the, all that good stuff. For me, it's 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 inflated or amplified to the point where everything i hear i detect the melody and um that kind of just kind of shows you just how much li music i've been listening to uh, that i've listened to over the years and um 
actually, I remember what I wanted to say, so, um, that was the end of the topic, don't think that I'm li leaving anything out, but, uh, anyways, so, m regard, talking about, like, my music, so if you guys didn't listen to earlier, th like, the past 30 minutes of what, I, what, what I've been talking about, um, basically, uh, I really like in uh, Toho music, but the thing is, um, like there are two kind of sides to Toho music. There's the instrumentals or the arrangements with that have, that have no vocals or no you know singer voices, and there are the vocals where they you know they do have you know singers singing lyrics and stuff like that. So for the arrangements, it's no it's no biggie. It's no biggie because I mean you just need to listen to it. You don't need to worry about you know listening to the lyrics and understanding what they mean. However, for the vocals, I mean I really do. I enjoy listening to vocals as much as much as I enjoy listening to uh, arrangements. However, the thing is that um, I've started taking Japanese to uh, partly in, uh, in part be to try to understand what uh, they're they're actually saying in terms of lyrics in the uh, in the, while you know during the songs and not and so i don't have to you know search them on youtube or go to wordpress or something like that to you know search up what the what their lyrics sorry about that what their lyrics are so the but the thing is is that i don't i don't mind listening to vocals uh that i have no idea what they're saying because to me here's the thing to me when I listened to American pop music back in like uh, you know American main mainstream back in like seventh, uh, seventh or eighth grade, I enjoyed you know it was kind of the same thing, same deal. I enjoyed not being able to understand the lyrics, but but because of the fact that you know I enjoy how it sounds. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I don't know where I left off in the commentary, but uh, I was interrupted for a little bit by my parents. But uh, anyways, so I think I left off on talking about like the the you know pop music and American mainstream music and uh, the fact that I enjoy I used to enjoy listening to their lyrics, but uh, or listening to their songs not because I understood the lyrics, but be just because of the fact that the song so sounded good. But I eventually broke off from it because I realized I came to realize what the lyrics meant, and after I realized that, I was like, I don't want to listen to this anymore. But afterwards. At when um in regards to the the, the uh, total vocals, they're in Japanese, so I don't have any clue what they're trying to say unless you know they're singing in actual English or English for that matter. I know some Japanese vocals have terrible English. No offense to them, but uh, it's kind of uh, a good idea for you guys to stick to Japanese vocals, you know. So um, yeah, it's just for toe vocals. I can I can easily search up what what the lyrics are and what they're saying, you know, but. The thing is, I don't need to, because I know for a fact that their lyrics are really, really good. That, like, their lyrics are very enjoyable to, uh, to listen to. Thus, I don't need to search it up and, you know, see what they mean, because I know that if I knew the lyrics, then um, I would enjoy it nonetheless. However, there's a catch to it, because for tonal vocals, um, for Japanese vocals anyway, there's this kind of charm to it that if you listen to a a song in a completely different language so that you don't have any idea what they're talking what they're talking about it's kind of like an uh i don't want to say ignorant bliss but it's it's a whole different experience listening to a song that you have no idea what it, they're talking about because it forces you to appreciate the beauty of what the what they've produced for the music it forces it i don't i want to say i don't want to say it forces you it no one's forcing you to listen to music but it it just makes you listen to, or it, it makes you pay attention to, like not not the not not as so much the uh, vocalist, even though the vocalist's voice is could be it could be what makes or breaks the song for for some uh, for some of them anyway. Um, it just makes you pay attention to the um, the amount of effort that has gone into producing the music. Like you can hear everything you can, or if you've got a good he pair of headphones, that is, you can hear a lot that you probably wouldn't have noticed if you were paying attention to the lyrics. If you, you know, if you still could understand what they were talking about, um, like you, you would be able to notice certain melodies that you actually really enjoy, and you wouldn't have noticed if uh, you were too busy paying attention to the actual lyrics themselves. You would be able to hear like certain noises, and certain sounds that the uh, that the producers have mixed in that you wouldn't have been able to hear and enjoy if you were if you were paying attention to uh the what you call it the um 
the lyrics. So there's that kind of charm to it. And that makes it so that the vocals aren't necessarily a separate part, but it's an integral part of the music I listen to. It's not it's not a vocal line, uh, for my part anyway, it's another part of music that blends in with all the other noises, that uh, all the other sounds I'm hearing with the actual music, like, you know, the actual music music part of it, not just the vocal, not the, not the vocals. So, I'm studying Japanese, uh, as we, uh, I'm studying Japanese, and, or, I've studied Japanese anyway in high school, and I continue to plan on, or I continue, I will, I'm planning on continuing uh, my Japanese studies in, uh, in college, but, until then, until I have a firm grasp of Japanese and I start to understand what they're trying to say in, in my total vocals, I'm going to enjoy every last bit of listening to those vocals because, you know what, that this this uh, this period i'm in that uh that i'm able to enjoy these total vocals for what how they sound like and not for their lyrics is going to be magical compared to uh, when i actually figure out what they're uh, when i learn japanese and I figure out what they're what they're actually saying and um until then i'm gonna have to enjoy every last bit of it because they're just two separate they're just two very separate experiences that unfortunately cannot mix together they are not mutually they are not um they are not uh mutual to each other and um until then, I'm gonna have to enjoy every last bit of it, and yeah, that's basically my my, my thought on uh, on music and why and why I still enjoy music even though I don't under even though I may not understand what they're trying to say. So, I mean, that kind of that kind of music really really lets makes you realize just the power of music and um, just just how influential music is uh, upon our lives that we would be able to you know appreciate music simply because they're music and not because of what what the singer is saying or anything like that i listen to music for the enjoyment of music not because you know um you know people are having sex in clubs or people are doing drugs on the street or or I don't know what the hell they're trying to say in those pop American mainstream songs, but those kinds of songs really tire me because they make me realize, they force me to realize that America's kind of in the gutter. Let's let's be honest. America's kind of in the gutter, and uh, in terms of like what what kind of music is being put out there, like in terms of Hollywood and shit. So I don't know. That's just my opinion though. But besides that, um. Just, just listening to Toho vocals can make basically uh, lets me realize that we listen to. I'm, I listen to music because I enjoy listening to music for the sheer enjoyment of listening to music. If it sounds good, then I will listen to it. However, there's a catch because not I don't think everything sounds good. You know, even among the Toho vocals, even among the Toho songs, there are songs. Well, most of the songs I still pass up. Say, yeah, they're they're either I like, yeah, they're pretty good, but they're not as good as these other ones like there are a few things that i would like to hear in in the songs that they don't include there so they kind of like not make the song for me other times they're just like complete like like what the hell am i listening to kind of thing so um it's not to say that i listen to every single total song but um when it's good i can tell when it's good and when it's good i guarantee you you probably might like it too but then again, if you have a completely different um, taste uh, taste in music than I do, then unfortunately we're, we can't really talk. But you know, music it's it's something that it's some, definitely something that has made a really really big impact on my life, and so much so that I want to kind of spread it throughout my own sub base and throughout you know basically share it with the world that. You know, these songs, these people over in Japan are making such so, such good songs that beat out all these other just just these mainstream songs to the point where if it's it's to me personally, it's sad that these arrange rearrangements and arrangements and remixes of these songs that you find in in these the the, the series of bullet hell shooter games called Toho Project is better than the people who professionally make music. I mean, granted, these these music makers, these, these makers of like Toho ranges, Toho vocals, Toho remixes, they get paid too because they also sell their albums at like conventions like Rei Tai Sai and uh, Kamiket, which you guys don't know that what those conventions are. They're basically like anime conventions where uh, lots of people get to get together in Japan and uh, you know sell things and basically meet together, just just kind of like anime expo, you know. But um. They also get paid too, but not in the extent where, you know, 
like these Hollywood celebrities, Hollywood stars make music. They are, it's com two completely different systems. You can't compare them. And I find it completely pathetic that I I'm enjoying their music more than I'm enjoying um, like the people uh, like over there in Japan making these total vocals than I would enjoy these people who make music and get super duper famous from it throughout the throughout the entire freaking world. Let's not even mention any names because I'm just sick of them. But um. I don't know. I've always I've always tended to be a non kind of mainstream guy, so that might also be why as well. But to be honest, uh, let's face it. I don't. I utterly do not like. I don't. I don't want to say I hate because that's kind of a strong word here. I don't think it applies. But I definitely do not like what is coming out of Hollywood right now, and I don't like what what basically American mainstream has to offer. I just don't like it. And um, now that I've listened to my, I've, now that I've found my own niche in uh, music, it's extremely difficult. It's extremely difficult for me to break away from it now, because I, as, as I listen to other music, I'm just like, this doesn't compare to what I've had listened to before. Like, this is compared to what my, my Toho songs, like, they just don't. So, screw this. I'm going back to Toho. So, that's kind of my two cents on music and uh, how music has influenced me throughout my life. And um, you guys have, uh, you guys will, you know, basically come to know what I think of music and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the commentary. Um, if you guys do disagree with me in any aspect, well then fuck you because my music is my music and my opinions on music will stay the same no matter what the hell you say. So, um... If you want to go ahead and uh, what what's it, Arctic and what does Arctic say? <laughs> like dislike dislike by a bot whatever you need to do to let me know your opinion or something like that. I don't know what the hell he says, but uh, something along those lines. I'm not not trying to make fun of him or anything, but um, like whatever you want to do to let me know that you agree or disagree, then just just go ahead. And uh, I mean, I understand that. Everyone's mu taste in music is different. I mean, I mean, granted, some of them are similar, but uh, if you disagree with my taste in music, then that's your that's that's your that's your opinion, and I do respect that. And I mean, just because you like some sort of music doesn't mean that you know I'm, I I feel the need to bash on you for liking this music. I mean, I don't I don't hate people who um like like you know are into dubstep and other American mainstream. I don't. Even though I might hate it or not like it myself, if those if you people find any pleasure in listening to that kind of music, then fine. I mean, I take pleasure in listening to Toho vocals and Toho music and remixes, and I don't have for the most part I don't have people bashing on me um, listening uh, for listening to that. So I don't do that. I don't do that to other people. And even if I was bashing on, I wouldn't really do it anyway because I understand. I at least had the flexibility of mind to realize that you know everyone's different. Everyone's got their own taste in music music and um we do we shouldn't really discriminate against each other for for what kind of music we listen to now that's really dumb that's really stupid so uh, your music is your music my music is my music if you want to try to convince people to like a certain kind of music then fine go ahead but i'm just letting you know that you're probably going to have a hard time doing so because music is one of those things where if you seriously dig it if you really love it if you're really into it it's extremely hard to get out of it so, I know it kind of sounds like drugs, I know, but don't worry. I like to refer to music as my own own kind of emotional and psychological drug. And trust me, it's a lot better of a drug than other other real drugs out there, so just letting you know. Anyways, so thank you guys very much for watching, and um, this will effectively conclude the, um, the commentary of this episode, the uh, topic on music. So... Before we end the uh, before we end the video, um, I would like to let you guys know of a series that will be starting up uh, that is tribute to Arctic Dropshot's Music Monday. And uh, just reiterating here, um, if you guys didn't know, Arctic Dropshot has this m a series called Music Monday where he basically um, features a song on his uh, on his on, in one of his videos on his channel that um, you know that he really enjoys listening to. And um, I. But unfortunately for him, he has started school uh, just earlier today, in fact, and. Um, Unfortunately, at the time I was recording anyway, um, probably this video will go up later uh, during the week. But in any case, um, when I, uh, or because he started school, he obviously doesn't have enough time or he doesn't have as much time as he did during the summer to upload videos. So Music Monday has uh, come to a halt for the time being. And uh, in tribute to that, in tribute to his series called Music Monday, I'm going to be starting up my own um, kind of music series. I don't know what I'd like, I don't know what I'd call it, but... Um, if I do call it something, then I don't know. But uh, in any case, so 
yeah, I'm just letting you guys know that I will be starting up my own kind of music series on my own as well, just to let you guys know what kind of songs that I listen to and I enjoy listening to, and um, hopefully you guys will, you know, have uh, open your open your minds and hearts up to a new kind of music that I'd like to share with you guys. If you don't like it, then, I mean, unfortunately, there's really nothing I can do about that. If you like it, then... That's great, cause you guys, uh, you guys will be able to uh, delve into the world of Toho remixes and stuff like that. So if you guys do enjoy that kind of thing, then I'm more than happy to provide you with more of those kinds of uh, episodes, and uh, it'll be another, uh, yet another series to uh, basically maintain on my channel. But that's okay, cause it's all, all these series are things that I actually enjoy doing uh, for for you guys. So. Anyways, so that's just to let you guys know of a new series that I'm going to start very soon, and um, I'll probably spend a little bit of time on it as well. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys very much for watching and listening to this commentary. And um, if you'll excuse me, I will have to go get the gameplay for this for this commentary now. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So, hope we can see you guys in the next uh, to Hell KDR episode. Um, I don't really know what uh, what top what next topic I will be talking about, but um, in any case, this topic was on music. And I'll see you guys later. You could have shit that, didn't it?